First, make sure your furnace breaker is turned off. That's the main. Now you can open up your cabinet. Get to the voltage box. The bus bar, whatever it is. Get to the place where the wires come off of the board, on the control board for the unit. Now it's out right here. There should be a floating blue wire, and there it is, it's right here. We can run that. That's our C wire. And then pick it up on the upstairs. So we're gonna hook it up to the C terminal. It already has a white wire on it. We'll open that up and stick this underneath it and get it in there too. And so this unused blue wire, it's not even skinned. Matches at the other end with the blue wire that's tucked into the wall So we can skin this one use a sharp blade go around it And pull off the insulation Get a nice little copper and we'll Loosen this CD terminal with the white wire in it and stick that up inside of it Connected to here, and then we'll go upstairs and hook it to the back of that new thermostat. Now I've got that blue wire tucked up inside there on the C terminal. C, right? Or G. G is next to it. C, G. W, R, Y, C, G. So now we got five wires down here. Now that wasn't even any, too, any hard at all. Tighten that screw back down. Double check it. Put the covers back on it. Get the house back refreshed. Well, we plan upstairs mounting that thing and wiring it and put it on the wall. We're going to keep the jumper because it says remove it only if you have both R and RC wires, which we don't have. And they're all pulled and we can straighten them out. RCRH pair of slip joint pliers would do a great job of straightening the wire tips out if they've been folded over for a loop type connection on the last unit like this one was you just crimp them back straight and they'll go in easy now all the connections are made, including the new C that we used by adding that blue wire in. So we push this back in the wall. We can make this hole and this hole with screws and so we can mount this thing on, snap it together and turn the back on. Be done with it. Use a hammer and drive the back plates into the hole. that hole up with some tape a little bit all five wires are mounted five wires mounted including the new C wire and the C terminal which you can see underneath this is for a heat pump this starts with a heat pump so now we can snap our fright back on and then go down and turn the furnace back on and then see if we have power and can control the furnace Turn the breaker back on for the furnace. Now we should have power upstairs. Cross your fingers. 